Hi children, how are you all? In this video, we are going to discuss how to draw the two-dimensional graph, which is very, very important for class 8th, 9th and 10th. Okay, so let's start. So discuss karte hai, graphs. Now, for making a graph, you need some things. Like a pencil. I don't use a pencil here. I use a pen so that I can show you clearly distinctly. So, you need to use a pencil. Then, you need to use a scale. Then, you need to use a graph copy. Yes, this type of papers. And uh, graph copies are available in the market. So, you can buy those and to draw your graphs. Okay? This graph paper. Then, you need to use a pencil. 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 Then, you need और ये पेंसिल चाहिए ग्राफ ड्रॉ करने के लिए बट इतना चीजें भी काफी नहीं है ड्रॉ करने के लिए ग्राफ आपको और एक चीज की भी जरूरत पड़ेगी वो है ये इस वीडियो को कंप्लीट वॉच करो सो दैट यू कैन ड्रॉ योर ग्राफ्स वेरी इजिली ओके सो विदाउट डिलेइंग लेट स्टार्ट तो सबसे पहले जब भी हम ग्राफ ड्रॉ करेंगे हम क्या करेंगे ग्राफ के लिए हमें यहां पर दो एक्सेस ड्रॉ करनी होगी फर्स्ट ऐसे एक वाई एक्सेस ड्रॉ करनी है और फिर x एक्सिस ड्रॉ करनी है राइट सो फर्स्ट x एक्सिस देन y एक्सिस देन यू हैव टू गिव देम द नेम आल्सो लेट मी शो यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी ड्रॉन इट फॉर यू दिस इज द पेज यू कैन सी यस दिस वन सी हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन y एक्सिस ओके एंड आई हैव ड्रॉन x एक्सिस एंड देन यू मस्ट गिव द एरो साइन विद x हियर एरो साइन विद x डैश एंड हियर द एरो साइन विद y Here another arrow with y dash. So remember, don't forget this. Okay, y y dash, x x dash. This is called x axis and this is called y axis. Okay, and x axis and y axis are intersecting at this point, and we call this point O. I mean origin. We'll call it origin. Okay, so origin is the point, and you must must. Remember that always we'll start from this point. Okay, this is our starting point. Or you can think that we all are standing at this point. Okay, initially we are standing at this point, and from where you have to move. Okay, now from here you have to move, but where you'll move? A particular point will be given like this. Say this is a point, or 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 this is a point. Mean from there you have to move. From here you have to move. From here you have to move. Okay, so these points will be given. I mean, those points will be given. Otherwise, without address, how will you recognize that point? First, you require the address of that point. Now, how does this address looks like? Address देखने में कैसा होता है? चलो देख लेते हैं एक बार. तो यहाँ पे मैंने एक प्लेन पेपर लिया है आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हो मैं आपको एड्रेस दिखाता हूँ पॉइंट का तो पॉइंट का एड्रेस कुछ इस तरह से आपको दिखेंगे जैसे 5.6 आपको दिख रहा है 5.6 आपको दिखेंगे तो ये 5.6 इज कॉल्ड द एड्रेस ऑफ दैट पॉइंट एक्चुअली हम लोग इसको मैथमेटिकल लैंग्वेज में एड्रेस भी नहीं बोलेंगे हम इसको बोलेंगे कॉर्डिनेट ये yes, इसे बोलेंगे कॉर्डिनेट याद रखना फाइव कॉमा इज कॉर्डिनेट ओके और ये फाइव को हम बोलते एपसिसा फाइव कौन बोलते हैं एपसिसा एंड सिक्स वी कॉल्ड ऑर्डिनेट ओके सो एपसिसा ऑर्डिनेट दिस इज ऑर्डिनेट डोंट बी कंफ्यूज्ड ऑर्डिनेट एंड दिस इज एपसिसा एपसिसा एंड ऑर्डिनेट सो फर्स्ट वर्ड इज ऑलवेज एपसिसा लाइक इफ आई एम राइटिंग माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस थ्री माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस थ्री तो माइनस टू इज एपसिसा एंड माइनस थ्री इज ऑर्डिनेट बट कंबाइनिंग दिस टू वी कॉल इट कॉर्डिनेट Okay, coordinate. Don't think that these two are same. No, this is ordinate. This is coordinate. Okay, first one is abscissa, and second one is ordinate, and the total is coordinate. Okay, so we'll not call it address. We'll call it coordinate. So five comma six is the coordinate of a point. Minus two comma minus three is the coordinate of another point. Okay, now we'll also find out those point in the graph paper. So, like this is the graph paper, and these are the x-axis and y-axis, and this is origin. As I told you, that I'm standing here. Initially, I'm standing here. From here, I will move. Okay, now, so we understood what is called abscissa, what is called uh, ordinate, and the total is coordinate. Okay, like uh, here, I'm mentioning few more points, like uh, um, minus three comma four, or say seven comma zero. Or zero comma minus eight. So here are few points. I will show you how to put those point in your graph paper. Okay. So this is my graph paper. You can see x-axis and y-axis and all. So now what I'm doing? See, this is zero. Now this point is one. 
okay one this point is two this is three this is four this is five this is six okay same way here this is minus one yes here it will be plus and here it will be minus so minus one this is minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six got it this point is minus six now from here again you have to go through the y-axis also and remember this is all are positive and this is all are negative same way so this is one two three four five six seven and this is minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven done so for x-axis this is x-axis as i told you you are starting from here so when you're starting from here when you are going to the right side then one two three four five six okay right side when you're going to the left side minus one minus two minus three in this way and when you are going up in the y-axis one two three four five six and minus one two minus one minus two okay in this way you have to mark your graph paper okay now without marking also we can draw the graph that i'll show you little later okay without marking this also i can draw the graphs but that i'll show you little later got it now let's see so first of all few points are there we have to indicate those points okay so remember if i write a point here like minus 3 2 okay minus 3 2 is the point so this is called abscissa and this is called ordinate and this total is coordinate now this is always x okay x and this is always y so x is minus 3 and y is plus 2 okay x is minus 3 and y is plus 2 so we have to plot this point we have to plot this point on this graph paper so let us plot this point fine so let's solve it x is minus 3 so from here i am starting i am always telling you that this is the starting point so x is minus 3 so minus 3 means 1 2 3 this is minus 3 okay so we are standing here now okay from here we move to this point minus 3 now y is 2 y is plus 2 plus 2 is upper word see this all are plus and this all are minus okay this all are minus so we have to go plus 2 this is plus 2 plus 2 means we have to go up so 1 2 yes from here we have to because from there we moved at minus 3 now here we are standing from here we have to go to plus 2 so 1 2 so this point is this point is minus 3 comma 2 okay so now before this point write an alphabet say i'm writing p so here i'll write p so p is minus 3 comma 2 so p is minus 3 comma 2 so this point is minus 3 comma 2 neither this point not this point no only this point is minus 3 comma 2 okay let me tell you another example like uh, 5 comma minus 3 okay 5 comma minus 3 now 5 is x and y is uh, sorry minus 3 is y 5 is uh, x and minus 3 is y so simply i can write 5 is x minus 3 is y so x is positive so we'll go with this side from here starting point 1 2 3 4 5 5 then y is minus 3 y is minus 3 means 1 2 3 yeah we have to go down because see the value of y's are negative and down see minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so 5 comma minus 3 1 2 3 4 5 5 is done then minus 3 we have to go down 1 2 3 so this is 5 comma minus 3 say this is point q so i will write here q got it this is the style let me show you a few more examples like um, 6 comma um, say minus 3 comma 6 okay minus 3 comma 6 so minus 3 comma 6 how will you do it minus 3 1 2 3 minus 3 okay minus 3 is done minus 3 is done then 6 6 where will you go down no will go up because this is upward is positive so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is minus 3 comma 6 if this point is r we'll write here r okay let me show you a few more examples like uh, say 5 comma 0 yes 5 comma 0 so x is 5 if x is 5 then from here 1 2 3 4 5 then y is what is y yes 0 so 0 means neither you'll go up or you will go down so this is the point this point is 5 comma 0 if this point is s then you have to write here s yes. so 5 comma 0 okay say a point is there which is 0 comma minus uh, 3 
0 comma minus 3 okay now x is 0 this is x x is 0 and y is minus 3 okay x is 0 so from here I am starting try to understand from here I am starting x is 0 0 means you will not go here or you will not go here means here only you have to you have to remain here because x is 0 when x is 0 you do not have to go there or you do not have to go there x is 0 means here and y is minus 3 minus 3 for minus 3 where will go up no this is positive but y is minus 3 will go down 1 2 3 so this is 0 comma minus 3 say this point is t so this is t try to understand how i am plotting these points okay these points are very important last two points you must be very careful while putting like this point was 5 comma 0 x is 5 y is 0 but this point is 0 comma minus 3 x is 0 and y is minus 3 try to understand fine now i will show you something else now the next question is a b c d is a rectangle okay a b c d is a rectangle like uh, say this is the rectangle okay a b c d is a rectangle now a this is a b c d okay four points are there four vertices are there now a the coordinate of a is given four comma minus three b is given minus two comma three c is given minus two comma minus five we have to find the coordinate of d okay so a b c all these three vertices are given the coordinate of these three vertices are given we have to find the vertex of this d the coordinate of this d okay so for that we will use the graph paper the same graph paper i have taken you can see now here uh, what i'm doing a is 4 comma 3 so where is 4 comma 3 you know how to plot the points like 4 comma 3 1 2 3 4 4 okay 4 comma 3 so for 3 we have to go up 1 2 3 so this is my a point okay this is my a point fine now don't forget point a point b minus 2 comma minus 3 so minus 2 then 3 so minus 2 from here 1 2 this is minus 2 then 3 1 2 3 so this is b okay this is b so a, i am putting it like this so that uh, i can see clearly yes a is this and b is this now where is c c is minus 2 comma minus 5 okay c is minus 2 comma minus 5 so where is minus 2 comma minus 5 from here 1 2 since this is minus 2 so i have to come this side if it's plus 2 i have to go that side okay say so minus 2 comma minus 5 this is minus 5 so i have to go down no 1 2 3 4 5 so this is my point c okay c understood now if a b c d are making a rectangle if a b c d are making a rectangle then can you assume the point d where the point d lie should lie okay let us draw join this because they are making a rectangle no so let us join it so this is a b okay can you see a b a b this is b c b c so a b c d yes here it should be so this should be d okay if it is d let me join it you will understand it better say c okay so let me join this to complete the rectangle c so a b c d yes a b c d see a b c d okay this is the rectangle understood this is the rectangle now coordinate of a is given b is given c is given i have to find this d I have to find this D. So, what will be the coordinate of D? Try to understand here. How will you reach here from here? How will you reach here from here? From O, I have to go first through X axis. You cannot go through Y axis. Okay, first X will come. So, first you have to go through X axis. Like 1, 2, 3, 4. So, first you have to come 4. After that, you have to come down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, first you have to go 4. Then you have to come 5. But 5 is a down. No, it is down so minus 5 so you have to reach here to reach here you have to go 4 comma minus 5 so 4 comma minus 5 okay so we got the vertices of d vertices of d is so minus oh, sorry uh, 4 comma minus 5 this is the vertex of d coordinate fine so in this way by using a graph paper easily you can find the missing vertex paper okay this is the first part in the second part we will discuss how to draw the graph of equations yes to draw the graph of equations that is the second part of this uh, video graph don't miss that video the link of that video is there in the description box thank you